All right, Bourbon Quest. Hell yeah. What up, Q? Come here, Q. All right. Welcome back to another episode of Bourbon Quest. So, we're going to do a, a unboxing, uncorking a review of what do we got? A whole year. Born and bred in Kentucky. Chestnut Farms from Barton, 1792 Master Distillers, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, Single Barrel, Non Chilled Filter, 125 Proof Chestnut Farms. Hell yeah. So it is a single barrel, um, the culmination of a celebrated collaboration between Chestnut Farms and Barton, 1792 Distillery. This unrivaled bottle of Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey inherits a great deal of its unique character from the specifically selected single barrel used to create it. Taking individuality one step further, non-chill filtering allows the bold, unique character of this exceptional bourbon to be transferred from the barrel to the bottom. The result is Chestnut Farm Single Barrel, a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey with an extraordinary aroma of rich, complex flavor. Uh, rich in oak with dark fruit and what are you doing Q? and touch of cocoa opens with strong notes of oak developing into nuttiness and rice spice with a touch of cocoa to round it out finished warm rice spice finish that is lingering yet not overwhelming Q hey Q what are you doing what are you doing hey buddy come up here look there's some catnip here. You want it? Come on. All right. We'll see if he comes up here or not. Anyway, so it's like, it's kind of like a Booker's box. I mean, exactly like a Booker's box, except it's not clear in the front. But so it is going to be uh, an unboxing. And then, oh, ooh, maybe a little slit out. That's awful cool. Let go back in there. Maybe, kinda. All right, there you have the box. Let's see. Yeah, cool. Chestnut Farms. If you get a chance, to pick it up. Uh, I think this is a Total Wine exclusive. At least that's where I got mine. Uh, but it is a single barrel cast strength, uh, 125 proof. Been waiting to get into this one so it is a uh uncorking here cute why are you acting crazy are you all right you okay you're acting kind of nuts did i give you too much catnip Remember, stay hydrated, my friends. You want to come up here? No? All right. So, all right. Pause for cork pop. America. There we go. Chestnut Farms. I don't know what the... I mean, I know it's a collaboration between Chestnut Farms and uh, 1792 Barton, but... I don't really know what that means. If you can enlighten me on that bourbon quest, feel free to leave a comment. Of course, our two ounce pour here into the infinity bottle. Cheese being weird. Did I give you too much catnip or something? All right, let's get into Chestnut Farms. 125 proof, hell yeah. I mean, I get tons of cherry, I get a lot of oak. Yeah, a lot of cherry, oak, vanilla, caramel. A little bit of, definitely some spice on that as well. Very cherry and oak forward. All right. Cheers, Bourbon Quest.
Yeah, you are, cute. Ooh. Got a lot of spice on that. I get, yeah, a ton of spice on the front, and then that cherry, oak. Man. Nice viscosity, mouthfeel. That's surprisingly good. I mean, tons of cherry and oak. Mm. Oh, man, that, wow. That proof really comes through at 125 proofs. Cheers, my friends. That is really, really good. I, I'm surprised to say that. I thought, and I mean, it's $150 that I paid for this. So, yeah, it's 125 proof. There's no age statement on it, but man, that cherry, that oak, that's freaking quite delicious. I, I want to say, I mean, there's no age statement on this. I would guess it's between six and eight years old, but there's no telling. But, I mean, because I definitely get that oak, that cherry, there's vanilla caramel, touch of toffee. But man, it's really, really good. I really, really like it. Cheers, Bourbon Club. The question is the price point because like okay it comes in a nice box so does Booker's Booker's being a more iconic boy a more iconic brand and people even clamor with it being between 90 and 100 dollars maybe sometimes above but from where it once was I think I'm going to need to do another video with this. I'm doing it blind against a couple of bookers. Maybe my two favorite from the last two years, which would be Kentucky Tea. And I'll have to look back and see what, what was the year before that. Because I, I think this is on par with bookers. Um, it would be interesting to do a blind to see if it happens to beat out Booker's. I mean, I mean, they both come in a box. They're both right around similar proof points. Booker's definitely gives you an age statement, usually between six and seven years. I would imagine this is right around the same point, although there's no age statement. I think this might be better. I don't know, I'm really loving the cherry on this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do, I might have to do this up against a couple of Booker's Blind. Um, so, man, I really wanna recommend it. Because I think it's really, really good. And without the comparison standpoint, I would tend to say I would recommend this. It's just that it's hard for me to say that indefinitely without doing it blind against Booker's because I think people have been getting a lot of pushback at Booker's being, you know, between 90 and 100 bucks. And now this is 150. And off the first sip, I think it's better than Booker's. And I was okay with paying a hundred bucks for Booker's, but I'm a big Booker's fan. And I want to say this is worth paying 150 for, but I hate saying it at the same time. Like, I mean, if it was a hundred bucks, slam dunk. Um, no, I, I still think it's worth 150, but I would not pay anything more than that. Um, Hey, I can't wait to do this blind against Booker's. This is much better than I was anticipating and thinking about. Um, 
yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say it's worth 150 even, Maybe a little bit reluctantly so, but I'm going to go ahead and say it. Um, if that still scares you off a little bit, um, ask to try it before you buy it then. Because I know I bought this at Total Wine. Um, it, I, I'm pretty 99% sure this is an exclusive Total Wine product that they source from uh, 1792 Barton. Um, granted I'm probably late in getting this review out but if you still have a chance at your Total Wine to where they have this available I know at least at my Total Wine here in Knoxville they did have it available uh, to, to try before you buy so by all means um, if nothing else I would definitely ask to if it's available to try and if you agree with me then go ahead and buy it because it's it's really really good I mean it, I know I'm a little bit a different consumer than most but honestly um, I, I would buy it again at 150 um, I mean I would I much rather see it at a hundred a hundred all day long uh, I would definitely buy it for a hundred all day long uh, but I think at least on my initial tasting and review and experience with this, I, I'd buck up to the 150. So let me know what you think, Bourbon Quest. If you've had this, uh, leave a comment. If you haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe. It does the channel a favor. And then do yourself a favor. Ring that bell for notifications. Um, I know this is in January. We'll be doing more uh, Rise All Month on January Rye Month. Uh, but yeah, uh, ring that bell for notifications subscribe leave a comment smash that like button it helps youtube algorithms and i'd be interested to know if, if anyone else has had this chestnut farms uh single barrel what do you think do you agree do you disagree i think it's freaking fantastic all right i gotta roll it's late gotta be at work in the morning stay hydrated my friends love you and remember as always my wish for you is that all your bourbon twist the bourbon quest dreams come true that's freaking fantastic man i wish it wasn't so late i'd have another pour all right i'll save it for another day peace out see you soon happy january rye month bourbon quest we'll be back with some more rise all month long and more reviews probably all right that's a wrap gotta go bye-bye where you at q oh